I'm going to show how to uh, clean the filter on a, on a ball animal too, or really most of the ball vacuums. So I click this, this purple button on top to release that. And now I need to release the filter. I can just pull this out here like that. We can see it's got quite a mess in it. Actually, that's the, uh, that's the bag. So you saw here that you just pull this little area right here and that pulls it open. And then what you're supposed to do is wash this for several minutes with cold water until all that dirt and everything comes out of it. You go, go wash this one out. Hard for me to hold the camera and show you this thing. I'm gonna actually have my water just kind of warm. But I will show you how nasty that is. Back for several months to use, so I should have been cleaning this all on. See what what the result is here. You just don't realize how nasty it gets. So I have washed it until it is totally clean, and uh, nothing but clear water comes out of it. Now I'm also going to need to clean this part here. I've already dumped it out. You click to, of course, you know, already probably know to dump that this way to dump the stuff out of it. We've also got this little uh, button here, if I can find it. So once you've clicked it and opened it, you'll, this little button here will be revealed where this purple thing is, where the little handle is, or whatever it is, the mounting thing. You push that in. Then you're able to uh, take this top off, like so. Now we can go and wash that out. I might do that. I think I definitely will wash this too. So we can also run this under the water and clean it out as best as possible. Now I'm going to tell you, I cleaned that out very thoroughly. It only took about seven or eight minutes of just running it under the water. I ran water all down in through here. I turned, I of course, ran water across all this. I turned it upside down, ran water all down around in through here and just kept dumping it out, dumping it out, dumping it out until it was clean. It was quite filthy. So that's something uh, you need to do. And I still see there's a little bit of residue of dirt on the inside there. I really just ran water through it. I didn't try to scrub it. The filter takes 24 hours to dry. So I'm going to let this dry for at least 24 hours too. I'm just going to leave it open like this and set it in a place where all this water can come out and where it can just naturally dry. Let's set it aside here. So now I'm going to go to my, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to wash all this out and get all this nastiness, all this dirt off of this piece here. It's pretty, pretty messy. And then of course we need to take this off too, but you just unscrew this purple thing here or this button there. This is the side filter on the ball. It's not tremendously dirty inside there, but I imagine this really is. All you have to do is just pull back on it there and it just pops right off. Like so. And I can see there's some dirtiness in there. It shows up, and if, you're, if you ever have any doubts, it shows the process for what it wants you to do. And it is saying let it dry for 24 hours after you clean it. So I'm going to go over here and wash it out with a uh, kind of lukewarm water. My, I, it, it recommends in the manual you do it with cold water. I guess all they really want is that you don't mess up the rubber parts by going doing it with like some scalding hot water. So cleaning all those elements didn't take very long, about 15 minutes total. And you should do this about every two months. And that's been probably four or five months since I've had this vacuum cleaner and been using it. I've actually been using it for a pretty good, lot, pretty good while. So this is the first time I've actually gone through and washed it, but it was pretty simple. Uh, I'll assemble it back, and uh, in a day or so here, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so everything is good and dry now. Uh, the one thing I will say is it took way longer to dry than, than what it said. It took more than 24 hours. That's more like 48 hours. I laid it out in the sun where it could get to, where this stuff could dry. So we're okay though now, we're back. This back on. Okay, and you just put it on like that till it goes in, and you turn it, rotate it back this direction, and it locks in place. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I think. Let's 
So we're back on good and tight here. If it goes too far, it actually will uh, will make that sound there. Looks like I'm in good. It'll rotate. So now I'm going to put this back down in the hole here. It's good to dry again. All right. And then this goes inside the canister. Make sure we do it correctly. So with the way you do, you make sure it lines up the hole here, their little gray tab thing. So now it looks like we're back in place. We'll close this back up. And then we're ready to reassemble this. And now we've got a really good clean ball animal too. There we go. Oh yes, working up there. Oh, yes, Smells better everything. Subscribe to the channel if you like.